Hey YouTube, it's a little dark, I'm aware, but uh, I don't really feel like turning a light on. I have a fire going that's smouldering down. I think I'm going to risk just that it's uh, a little bit dark. You can still see me. There's still enough light coming in. You can see me. I'm sat in coastal Wales, United Kingdom. I had a long, over a day of travelling and I'm sat in my mum's place and uh, it's the first time I've been back to the continent that I grew up on in four and a half years and it feels really good. It feels really good to be here. It feels really healing. Today is lesson 60. It's the end of the review period. It's reviewing lessons 45 to 50. Some beautiful lessons reviewed in that. One of them is there is nothing to fear. I'm going to read from the review that was listed today. There is nothing to fear. How safe the world will look to me when I can see it. It will not look anything like what I imagine I see now. Everyone and everything I see will lean toward me to bless me. I will recognise in everyone my dearest friend. What could there be to fear in a world that I have forgiven and that has forgiven me? That is the true freedom. This journey is an internal journey, not an external one. And yet sometimes in this body, I seemingly have to make an external journey to be reminded. And as the uh, stage character that I play in this realm moved from one geographic location to another today, I felt the stimulation of new energy. I felt the shift of new energy, of new realization, of deepening understanding. There is nothing to fear. When I live too much in here, fear becomes very real. When I live too much out of these two eyes, the two thieves looking at information about events happening all over the world that I'm completely powerless over, Fear arises. But when I move around, when I meet my fellow human beings, when I meet God in human form, in other forms, and I recognize in those moments the divinity inside myself, there's nothing to fear. When I come home to myself, there's nothing to fear. And yes, I'm really tired in this moment. It's a long time since this body slept significantly, but I'm also elated. I'm also at peace. I'm also content. happy. I'm glad this review period is coming to an end. I said before that my mind makes it like, yeah, yeah I know, I know, okay, what's next? And I'm excited to move on to what's next, but I feel the deepening of these lessons as I go as well. God is the strength in which I trust is another of the lessons being reviewed today. God is the strength in which I trust. I lean in when I don't know what to do, when I don't know what the next right thing is. I lean in. I trust that I will be guided. Spiritual guidance is my birthright. Divine guidance is all of our birthright. We're all connected to that one source, that one divinity, that one spark of creativity. We're all connected. When I move around the world, I feel it so strongly. I see people that I would never otherwise see, that I don't see in my day-to-day -day life, and I'm reminded that we're all connected. We all share that divine source. There's nothing to fear in that. There is strength and love that I can trust in that. There is bliss that I can trust in that. There is peace that I can trust in that. 
There is abundance that I can trust in that. It's an abundant world. And don't allow media forces, political forces to scare you out of exploring it if that's what you want to do because there's nothing to fear. My experience overwhelmingly is the world is a welcoming place. The world is an abundant place. The world is a loving place. The world is a joyful place. The world is a blissful place. Now, if you sit and watch the world through the prism, P-R-I-S-M, of the television news, or doom scrolling on Facebook, then the world isn't going to seem that. The world is going to seem terrifying, foreboding, dark, twisted, evil. But if you actually get out and explore it for yourself, don't take somebody else's word for it. Explore it for yourself. My experience is very, very different. Very, very different to that. There is nothing to fear. I love you all very much. Had an amazing day. Got to meet my nephew today. Got to see family members that I haven't seen in years. Close family members. Life is good. Subscribe to the videos if you haven't already. And uh, let me know how your journey's going. I'll see you tomorrow for the next video.